What does your college major have to do with medical school? Today, we're talking to the director of admissions at his med school, Dr. Girardi. I sat down with Dr. Girardi to finally put an end to the speculation around the connection between your college major and medical school. I was lucky enough to meet Dr. Girardi early on in my college years, and he supported me when I decided to do something way off the traditional pre-med route, get a bachelor's in Spanish and Hispanic studies. Looking back as a med student, it was the best academic decision I could have made. If you want to see more awesome interviews, subscribe to Dog Thoughts, and don't forget to share the channel. On to the interview. Let's hear Dr. Girardi's advice. Thank you for joining us today on Dog Thoughts, Dr. Girardi. Thank you. What significance, if any, does a student's major have on their success in medical school and later on in their career as a physician? Uh, so as, as the person in charge of admissions, I can say that uh, in their review of candidates for mm -hmm. medical school, the actual undergraduate major does not play much of a role. Mm -hmm. And I have been saying that to undergraduate pre-medical students for a long time, but uh, it doesn't seem to matter. Usually 60% of the students that enter our medical degree program have major in biology or chemistry or biochemistry. Um, but uh, when we look at performance in medical school, of our medical students in relation to their college uh, major, we've never noticed any difference in terms of uh, the ability to perform uh, in the basic science coursework or in the clinical years of medical school. Mm -hmm. So um, I think the, the evidence bears out that it doesn't really matter what major you pursue uh, as an undergraduate student. Okay. Um, I, I think college overall is a time of growth not just academic growth, but certainly personal and emotional growth. So it's hard to say that pursuing one particular major over another by itself will make the big difference, if you will, or only, only that will make the difference. If it doesn't have any impact on your performance in medical school, does it affect the way you could practice medicine? And my view on that is that um, medicine is a lot more than knowing about the biomedical aspects of care. Okay. It entails understanding humans at the most basic level. And sometimes it seems that individuals that bring a background in humanistic fields or social sciences or behavioral sciences may have more of an insight in the areas that are non-biological aspects of patient care. When you, when you consider the relationship that doctors establish with patients, um, the actual medical side is really one, only one component, okay. correct? And, and uh, the, the patients actually appreciate when they see that the doctor is able to speak to their level, you know, meet mm -hmm. them where they are, and um, can translate in a way all the knowledge they may have to something that makes sense to that individual. As you know, literacy in general and health literacy uh, is not as high as it should be. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we're told all the time that when you create messages related to healthcare, that sh you should aim for a reading or a comprehension level of fifth grade. Okay. That's, that's the, the standard. Um, and that's an area where I think doctors fail sometimes. They, mm -hmm. they bring very sophisticated terminology, a lot of jargon that doesn't mean a whole lot to mm -hmm. patients. And in the process, I think you lose a little bit of the trust uh, and the confidence that the okay. patient may have in your ability to, to take care of them. What advice would you have for a student who's currently in the process of choosing a major and wants to soon attend medical school? So this, this would be good advice for, for those that maybe have not started college yet or who are early in their college careers. Mm -hmm. um, my advice to people is when you go to medical school, if you go to medical school, uh, your coursework, pretty much every year of medical school will be set for you. Uh, you do not have a lot of choice, okay. uh, both in the courses or the sequence of the courses. So in essence, college is one of the few opportunities you have to do something that really interests you. So to pursue a major just because you feel that's what medical schools want to see, mm -hmm. or because you think you've heard that maybe it'll give you an edge uh, as you prepare for medical education, that would be short-sighted. College is, in fact, one of the few times where you have a chance to call the shots, you know, and, and pursue 
the things that truly interest you. Uh, once in medical school, you'll be in a very lockstep situation with your classmates and may miss altogether the opportunity to, to gain some additional uh, breadth of, of knowledge.